And look where your country has gone to in the last 50 years. And you're at the point now where you love Satanism so much that you hate this president that is even neutral on all this perversion, lesbian, uh, transvestites. He's not even fighting against that. And yet they hate him probably just because he's older and he's a wiser man or something. They want their devil worship now, you see. They want the devils to take all complete control now. They want it so bad. Why would they want evil so much and so bad? Well, maybe it's because the Antichrist Jews, they finally come into their zenith of power in destroying all morality and destroying you people so that you're nothing but buddy in their hands. And when they offer their Messiah as a solution to your problems, you're going to fall for it. That's the plan, man. They're behind all the homosexual promoting groups. They own all the money in the world and lend it to banks. I mean, lend it to governments of people. This started with the Knights Templars. They were the first ones. That in, those international bankers. And then it grew into the Rothschilds and on and on. They're the ones that seek to establish the vision during their crusades. They wanted Jerusalem where they could rule as the kingdom of God. The Knights Templar, they were working for them. And the Freemasons and all that. And when the Catholic Church found out about it, they tried to destroy their organization. And instead, the Freemasons took over the world, and the Catholic Church went down. And now, now they've come in the, into the in the nineteenth century, or the twentieth century, nineteen hundreds. You know, that's when they've come into their great power, and their kingdom is almost realized now. Read about the read it about it in the Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion. I read that book. How many years ago now? Must have been almost 30 years ago I read that. My eyes were opened, you know. But they'll say, oh, no, 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 don't believe that. That's a, that's a made up, that's a forgery. Why is it all true? Why is it completely all true? Why is it what is, what is happening? Yeah, they made adjustments in time. They always make adjustments change the course here and there because they don't they don't have a, a complete knowledge of the future you know but that's what the the corrupt the, the great whore that corrupted the earth she corrupts the whole earth with her fornication yeah she used to be god's woman but she fornicated with all the demons there are with Satan the devil, and all the nations have drank in the wine of the wrath of her fornication, because God is angry. Yeah, he's kept quiet for a long time, but he's going to groan and pant and gasp at the same time and devastate mountains and hills. But the blind, he is leading. Even now, he has to lead them now, or else you'll be eternally, eternally lost by a way which they knew not. He will turn darkness into light before them and crooked things straight, and he will not forsake them. You know, I, I, I can't remember the exact words at this moment. They'll come to me in a minute or whatever. But um, read the scriptures. That's what it says. He loves those people. He came as a savior to the blind. And that those that see, the illuminated ones, 
they're going to be shown to be stupid, blind people because they didn't have faith in the living God. They trusted in the devil for their temporary rewards, like Balaam and his ass looking for that temporary thing. And Balaam would, would, could only speak in, 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 in God's words that he gave to him, in the words that Yahweh, Jehovah, gave to him. But still, he had an angel that was sit, standing in the way resisting him. And he beat his ass because his ass saw the angel and he didn't. And then the angel finally appeared to Balaam. He says, I would have killed you. You beat that ass one more time. I would have killed you and set your ass free. You punk. You know, so there's even worse going on today, you know. And um, uh, I forgot my line of thought. So anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, I forgot. So I'm going to wait. Oh, yeah. About those greedy men, you know. They're, wor they're much, much worse than that, you know. But anyway, you know, e e even the kings, Jesus Christ says, kiss God tells him to kiss my son, kiss the son, lest you perish in the way. The call for repentance goes out to all. That they've gone so, so far. They're just so hungry for hell, man. They want to turn this whole world into hell. All the communist governments, all the millions of people they've slaughtered, you know. And I've spoken against about Alex Jones and even against him when he's speaking about g guns and all this stuff because our warfare is not carnal. But I agree with all, most of the things he said. And I knew this stuff before he came on the scene, you see. I knew it before he came on the scene. And when he would speak, i say, oh man, this guy's just like me, man. I want to listen to him. I listened to him for a long time. And um, I don't listen to him anymore, but um, uh, he brought out a lot of good points. You know, he was like one of those patriot guys who cared about the country falling into decay, satanic decay. And yet he wouldn't speak the whole truth because he was afraid, you know. But hey, he got a lot of viewers out of it and he enlightened a lot of people. So he did his job, you know. And... Um, you know, so I really, I really have nothing against him at all. In fact, I, sh I was gonna just keep quiet about the whole thing, you know, and not criticize him <coughs> at all, which I probably shouldn't have, you know, because he did a lot of good for this country, and he's friends like with Donald Trump and all that, you know. But there's no, there's no, there's no keeping back the, 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 the flood, the tide, the, the. The tsunami wave of wickedness that's coming, you know. And it's just like in the ancient Israel, you know. There was good kings like Josiah and Hezekiah, you know, that cleaned out the land from the wickedness. Oh, not like the, those Watchtower videos that have Hezekiah as some kind of a weak, faggy type of man. They have Jesus. Oh, it makes me sick. That video they have of, of Jesus. Oh my God, that was weak, they had these weak creatures, you know, um, acting out, pretending they're God's people, it's, it's, it, it, it's really nauseating, they're all weak, 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 they want you to be weak, that's their whole thing, you know, yeah, so, the tie, even, even though they had those good reform, good King Josiah, man, he was a good king, but they all had their little um, weaknesses, you know, or they couldn't get rid of the high places and this and that, you know. But when they read the law, man, they got invigorated, you know. That's why I keep reading the scriptures, the Old Testament and the New. Keep reading it. Let that be your guide and that be your moral compass, not what any man tells you. And continue in it. And don't give up. Because that means your, your eternal life. See we don't have nothing to be afraid of. These puny little men. That threaten us. 
They're no threat whatsoever. They're a bunch of ants. They're nothing. They're unreality. They're less than reality. Less than nothing. They're vanity. Don't be afraid of these nothings. God promised you eternal life. They got nothing. What they can take away a few short years in this miserable world. Big deal. They got nothing on you. You have all the power in the universe. All the power that almighty God gives you through his son Jesus Christ. Take it and use it. Turn this tide of wickedness. At least for yourself and for all who hear you. And follow in the ways of truth and of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ had such zeal for God, man. And he didn't care anymore. He went into that temple and knocked the crap out of them. Knocked those tables over. Took that. Whooped them out of there. Every year he'd do, clean out his father's house. You know. And he called out them religious Pharisees. Made it clear. They are blind leaders of the blind. And they both fall into the pit. Leave them alone. Don't touch them. Don't follow them. Don't listen to them. Yeah, what they tell you to do according to God's law, you do it. But not after their works. And this watchtower, they plant the seeds of their own destruction with their teaching the commandments of men. With their infiltration of secret society bullcrap. With their neutrality. Where they're trying to make you into a, a, a cookie cutter zero. That's what they want you to be. And what are they expecting? Now they're full of pedophiles and everything. Oh, well, we can't help that. That's common in the world. Oh, really? Yeah, but you're not supposed to be part of the world. You nitwits. Did you forget about that? Yeah, you forgot about a lot of things. You forgot about everything. And it's coming down on your heads now.